On Wednesday, 25th of October, 23, at about 15, 30 hours, operatives of Ozuba, Ozuba Division received a complaint from a good Samaritan and a neighbor who intend to withhold the names, please, uh, of, of uh, Road 20 at the back of uh, NTA Ozuba on Wednesday at about 14.00 hours that he went, came to report that he went to his house where one Damien Okoligwe, a fellow tenant, and perceived a very, a very bad order, and immediately rushed to the police station where the DPO led detective to the scene. On arrival, the door was forcefully opened and the Ghana must go back containing a lifeless body was recovered back to the station, and in the search of the fleeing suspect, who happens to be the boyfriend of the deceased, one Damian Ukoligwe, male, 24 years, a petrochemical engineer, and 400 level student uh, of Uniport, and the boyfriend of the victim, also an occupant of the house. Now the prime suspect was traced. And uh, now the prime suspect, who was also traced last with this disease, was arrested for an inquiry. The lifeless body and butchered body of Justin Otuene, female, 20 years old, a biochemistry 300 level student at Uniport, was recovered and deposited at the mortuary. Preliminary investigation is in progress. The case has been transferred to state CID for discrete investigation. <coughs> Meanwhile, the command has condoled, condoled with the family of the deceased while urging young ladies to be cautious and careful about persons which they get involved with in the form of relationship. <laughs> Imo states. Eh? That a girl was found dead in my house. I woke up and then I I woke up and then the girl was lying lifeless, lifelessly in my house. <laughs> yes, just the two of us in the house. Yes. I don't know what killed her. That's the problem. I don't know what killed her. I did not report to anybody. That was the mistake I made. I did not report to anybody. I just, I just left. It's not. I, I did not pack the body. It's not inside the Ghana mosque. Inside the big bag. And I know, I did not do anything. I just carried the body like that, and put on the wheelbarrow. But I now left. And then came back. It's me. It's me. <laughs> I was trying to dispose it because I thought anybody that see this thing now will not blame it on me. So what happened to her now before you packed it? She was already dead. She was already dead at first. So what killed her? I don't know what killed her. That's the problem. I don't what, know. What was your Maybe an autopsy. Is she your girlfriend? She, we, we used to like we just used to make up and break up and, you know, like... You guys had a relationship? Yes, we had a relationship. Yes. Yes. Okay, how long was she It was just uh, the night. She was stayed the night. In the morning was when I found her dead. Wait, she spent the night? And you found her dead in the morning? She spent the night in the room. I spent the night in the parlor. And then I found her dead in the morning in the room. Okay, after you now found her dead, what next? Like, if you see somebody dead in the house, eh, who spent the night with you? What are you supposed to do? I was supposed to report, but I did not report because I was very scared. I don't know what to do. I was thinking if I report this thing now, everybody will blame it on me. Everybody will blame it on me. And look at it now. Everybody's blaming it on me. I don't so know what to do. The dismember, oh, I don't know. I don't dismember her body. I, the body was still intact now. So what was the last meal you people ate before that guest left? 
it was snacks and the Hollandia yogurt. Hollandia exotic actually. It's me. It's me that it's me that brought it now. It's both of us that drank it. So after when you find out the body, since it's not the fault of the police, did you call any of our family members, all our friends, to report that this is what happened to us? No, I did not. Why? Why? Okay, when your brother came in the house, what did not tell you? What did you do for you? I did not even tell my brother. I did not tell anybody. I was just very scared because I did not know what to do. Were you alone in the, in the compound? Or do you have any other neighbors? And why didn't you report that you were alone? I don't report to my neighbors because I'm I'm just new in the compound. I just moved in. How long ago? I moved in like a week ago. Where, where is this now? Back of NTA. Okay. But our forensic this thing is already showing that that knife has human blood on it. Listen! Your kitchen knife. Stand up! The grace. I think you are here for nonsense. They are asking you, I tell you another thing. I am asking you, who has this knife? Answer them. It's your kitchen knife. Forensic result already is showing that uh, that knife, you understand me? That that knife has human blood on it. So who, who did it? Okay, so what is your own? So, okay, he was lying lifeless. Okay, he was lying lifeless. And then, who did you report to that she was lying lifeless? Okay, then, who was the one that dismembered her? Okay, who is staying in that house with you? Only you. So, if you are staying in the same house with a woman and it became lifeless and you did not re uh, report and then wait now and then and they they started dismembering the person and you were still there staying with him and she started smelling and you were still eh? you were sick i went to my brother's house uh -huh. where i received treatment for like four days sick of what which hospital were you? Uh, did you go to receive no, the treatment? It's a uh, pharmacy. That you oh, pharmacy that uh, you took the distance. So you locked the house and they left the dismembered body. You understand me? Which you didn't know who dismembered, according to you. Who else is staying in that house with you? How old? How, 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 old uh, how long ago now have you packed into that place? Who put his body in?